Okay, this video is going to review mostly muscles that are involved in moving the upper limb. So we're going to start out with a posterior view of the muscles around the scapula. The large muscle on the shoulder is the deltoid, and that's going to obscure a lot of the other muscles, so I'm going to take off the deltoid. And that makes the spine of the scapula very obvious, and this is the reference point for the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus. On the anterior side around the scapula you have the subscapularis. Back to the posterior view, if we move down into the brachial region you'll see the major muscle uh, here is the triceps brachii. You can only see two bellies of this muscle. The third one is a deep belly. It's not visible. Then as we spin around, you have this intermediate brachialis muscle. This is separating the triceps where we were at on the back side from the biceps brachii. Then going down to the forearm, around the radius side, if I give you this view, you can see we're on the thumb side. So if we look at the forearm in this area, you have a major muscle that is going to wrap around this. To give you some perspective, this muscle here is the brachioradialis, wrapping around the side of the thumb. And the other important muscle here, if you follow the muscle going down to this major tendon that spreads out on the posterior side of all the digits, this muscle is the extensor digitorum. The two other structures you need to know outside of the muscles, uh, on this side you have the extensor retinaculum, which is this white band here. Then on the anterior side you have the flexor retinaculum.